What? Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about Google. Man, Buona, every video you've been doing for the past 300 minutes has been about Google. Yeah. <laughs> but today I want to talk about a little bit of an experiment that I'm doing. Um, back when, you guys may remember this if you watch my podcast, back when uh, Google updated their terms of service and stated that they were going to integrate email and everything all encompassing into their platform to provide better search results. I was like, all right, this is the last straw. I'm leaving Google. And I put forth a little bit of effort and I looked at some alternatives, but I didn't really complete the whole thing. I didn't really come to an end. I didn't really follow through until today. <laughs> it's not that funny. Anyway, um, I have put together a nice spreadsheet detailing what it's going to take for me to migrate from Google services to other possible things. And I've, I've got it broken out. You can study this for a minute. Uh, the first column is uh, the service that I'm talking about. The middle column is the old, what I'm using for Google stuff. And the far right column is the new things. And the ones that are in light green here are the ones that I have already successfully migrated to. And you're like, Buona, you've already done it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've already done it. So today I'm gonna talk about the first one and I, I might break these out into separate videos so that those of you who are interested in getting off the Google train might be able to do so. Um, today I'm going to talk about email and, uh, the, that was the first thing I did. That was probably going to be the hardest thing for me because I really, really liked Gmail. So today I migrated from Gmail to, uh, outlook.com, which is, I believe is the old hotmail. And, um, I'm using my domain buona.org for everything. And I had it set up with Google apps a long time ago. So I had to really dig up some information as to what I provided, but I found a web resource over on this digital inspiration site. I'm going to show it to you right now, which details how to use outlook.com with your web domain It's not very hard. Microsoft has a very similar, uh, setup that Google has for their Google apps domain. You can set up domains, add users, whatever, whatnot. And they go through the whole process of setting up the custom domain, what you need to do for your MX records and all that stuff, stuff that I already did with Google, but I really have forgot because it has been so long ago. And uh, I set up my mail forwards. I have adjusted my rules and now I am successfully set up on outlook.com. And it's pretty clean right now because I'm still in the process of importing my Gmail uh, via pop. That's taking a while. And uh, also I'm just keeping my inbox clean, which is something I used to do when I use, well, I, I do it at work. When I use outlook at work, I keep my inbox clean, but Gmail made me a little bit lazy and I just put everything in, in the inbox. So that's what I'm doing with Outlook.com and Gmail, and I've successfully got it set up, and it works. Um, I've also done some other things with SkyDrive that I'm using now. I'm also using Internet Explorer 10, and that video is going to be funny when I, <laughs> oh man, when I when I talk about the experiences with that. So far, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be, but um, I am using Internet Explorer 10 as my actually Internet Explorer 11 now since I upgraded to Windows 8.1 as my main browser. You guys are like, Buona, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already migrated to Feedly. Going to talk about that in a bit. And Google Calendar, Google Keep, and all that stuff. Outlook.com. Now, some of these things that are shown in red, yeah, um, possibly not going to happen. Google Voice, there's not a lot of great alter alternatives out there. And YouTube is just YouTube, man. It's going to be hard to, you know, just drop YouTube and drop all that work that I put into getting YouTube set up. So, this is my start off of the Google train. This is an experiment. I'm going to go as long as I can. Uh, I don't see an end in sight. I'm not saying, well, I'm going to try this for a month and see how. No, I want to try to do this. I want to try to move off of Google services because it's a little bit scary, man. And all of my days in technology, I have never relied on one company for all these things, for everything. I went through that list. Look at this list, man. That's like everything. That's that's email, cloud docs, browser, voice, music, social media, video, maps, news, mobile, calendar, tasks, all with Google. 
I've never done that before. Even I, 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 I caught myself today. I'm like, man, I use Google for everything. And uh, even when Microsoft was a big deal, I didn't use them for everything. And, you know, everybody hates Microsoft because of their antitrust stuff. Uh, they hated Microsoft for their antitrust stuff and just the lagging of Internet Explorer 10. We're going to talk about that in a separate video. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Uh, again, the article, I'm going to put the link in the show description on how you can migrate your domain, whether it be from in Gmail or whatever, your domain to Outlook.com to use that email so you guys can try that. And uh, if you want me to continue doing these, let me know in the video comments and I will do so. And uh, hopefully they will help others migrate off of Google. I don't hate Google guys. I just don't like to rely on one company and one person for everything. It's, it's, it's kind of, you know, I feel kind of reliant on them, you know, cause Google has been known to shut down stuff that I have been relying on Google reader. Mm hmm. And that didn't feel too good. So I'm looking for alternatives in that arena. All right, guys, take care. This is a video. Another video is coming. Hopefully we'll do these more daily. I hope you guys are enjoying this frequent content. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm out.